When so many people are hungry and dying, where do you start? We know there's enough to go round. But still, so much poverty. Where do you start? You start here. Leaders from 189 countries have signed up to end poverty. Make them keep their promise, now. We have a plan. The Millennium Development Goals. We have the money and the means. What we want is action. Women are the poorest of the poor, two-thirds of those living on less than a dollar a day. Most women have fewer opportunities. What could change this is education. What is the point of investing in the education of a girl when she's going to get married and go away anyway? In fact, educating girls is the best investment a country can make. Educated women have fewer kids, earn more and put more back into their family's health, vital for a healthy economy. Almost everywhere, aside from parts of Africa and Asia, as many girls go to primary school as boys. But if you're not going to school, and you should be, chances are you're a girl. Two-thirds of the world's illiterate are women, but it's never too late to learn. I think men should join in all the chores, sweeping, fetching firewood, carrying water. Sanatu lives in Ghana. This is a maths lesson showing the division of labor between the village men and women. The men can see they're not really pulling their weight, and things are changing. <laughs> Sanatu is getting more confident. That's good for family finances. Sanatu is a village trader. She now buys direct from the wholesaler instead of a middleman, so she's making a better profit. I'm taking pictures, and I'm going to many places. Now, lots of people know me as Shati the photographer. In Bangladesh, Shati kept studying when most of her teenage girlfriends were being married off. Now she works and studies with her family's support. My daughter Shati tried to stop a few early marriages. We also tried to stop them and succeeded in convincing the families. If I ever see this happening again in the future, I will help my daughter to prevent these early marriages. Increasing globalization means more paid jobs for women. But overall, women have a third less paid jobs than men, often with lower wages. Microcredit schemes have helped poor women earn more and become independent. Here, in China's Lijiang region, businesses started with microcredit have led to improved housing and sanitation. In the past, when I got back from meetings, my husband just sat down and told me to make dinner. Now that I make a little money, he encourages me to go to the large group meetings. And when I get home, he already made dinner. All I have to do is eat. <laughs> Half of Nigeria's small businesses are run by women. Damitai Okonu is so successful she's known as a cash madam. In the next two days, you won't find anything here. The shop is going to be empty. Madam Konu wants her contribution to the national economy recognized. The government should come into the market and make friends with the market women. There are many educated market women out here in the market today. Women need recognition at all levels. Since their husband died of AIDS, Pauline and Gladys have looked after 15 kids from his five marriages, living off food they grow themselves. But here in southern Zambia, women can't inherit land, and relatives have taken away their livelihood. They took many things from us. For example, they took our plow. It was the only one we had. So it's become very difficult because we have nothing else to use and we have a large family to feed. There are simply not enough women in power, locally or internationally. Worldwide, women make up only 15% of elected politicians. Goal 3, more equality and power for women means a better world for everyone. The Millennium Development Goals. Make our leaders keep their promises. Eight goals, 